What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, JB. <clears throat> I'm here today with a review for Grown Up Hip Hop, Season 6, Episode Number 5, Every Woman for Themselves, is the title of the episode. All right, you guys. Now, before we get into this review, um, now, <clears throat> I will tell you guys, I am sweating. I just came from outside, and it's kind of hot out there. Um, before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, you guys. Hit that notification bell button. Ooh, excuse me. I didn't mean to burn me out face. So with um, that being said, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this episode review, shall we? All right, you guys. So this episode, we see TT. So she has um, Cree and Vanessa coming over. So when they get there, she accidentally knocked over her glass of wine. So when she came back out, so we find out that Cree is going to be helping plan her wedding to Sean. And, you know, she's just telling her about the, some of the venues that she's had. And then they ask her a question, you know, some questions. They do talk about Twist and, you know, about inviting Twist to the um, wedding, but not wanting Twist to wear his pajamas. And they were like, and, you know, TT was like, if Twist show up in his pajamas, that's just Twist. So then they talk about the, um, the guest list for the wedding. And they're like, who's invited? She says, well, you three are invited. So actually it was, for at first, before they started talking, it was just Vanessa and, and Cree, but then Tanise showed up as well. So she was like, it's just you three. And then Tanise asked, well, what about Egypt? And TT lets her know, you know, normally with her being family, it would be a 1000% yes. But with the with stuff that's going on between me, her, and Sandy at this point, it's a no. And I don't blame her. And it would stay a no, especially seeing the, the way that they've done her this, so far this season. Especially Sandy. Sandy went and got that crackhead-looking sister and had her come on TV so that she could spray TT's business and Pep come out looking like the good guy, which she still didn't. So then we move over to this strange scene with Egypt. So Egypt is the one that gave herself that terrible haircut. And it's at, it's, it's, it's because of Sam. I'm like, girl, you're proving why people say you don't have a brain when it comes to Samantha. Like you don't have a brain. He's talking about it makes her, you know, it'll make her grown, I guess. Girl, that haircut makes you look ridiculous. So then, um, then we see, you know, um, Samantha, she's in the booth. And then we see Savannah show up. And that song that um, Samantha was singing, if anybody out there buys that, let me personally kick your ass. <laughs> Period. I don't know why. Like, that's like, I don't understand why people are paying for his OnlyFans. And then the music and that song that, I was, that he was in the studio recording, trash. So then Savannah tells her, you know, Egypt about the showcase and that, you know, Jojo and Cree want her to perform. And she's like, oh, you know what? I got to ask Sam. I'm like, you got to ask Sam. Why? You are, you just said it in the, first, in, in the previous thing when you were cutting your hair that you're grown. So if you're a grown ass woman, you don't need him, girl. Ding bat. Ding bat. Let me talk to, let me talk to Sam. And then Savannah says that, you know, well, they don't really want Sam at the party. And she's like, oh, well, that's definitely a no. Because if, if you don't want him there, then it, if you don't, something, you know, something about us, they, they're not rocking with, uh, fucking with us or something like that. Egypt, you sound about retarded. Nope, don't say that. You sound dumb as hell. You sound about dumb as fuck. And then this dingbat went one step further and compared herself to J&B. You must be talking about the crackhead J and B, not Jay Z and Beyonce, the power couple. You must be talking about J and B off the street. Gotta be. So then, while she's talking to Savannah, she mentions TT's, and I'm like, oh my god. I don't care if me and my family members are having it, having a, a spat with each other. I don't care. I'm not about to go around and blab their business, even if, if I if I know it's true or if it's a rumor. I'm not gonna blab it, especially to someone who doesn't know my cousin. So much for family, huh? So much for family. 
Let's move on. All right, you guys. Next up, we see Boogie. So Boogie is going over to Brianna's place. And on his way there, he's talking to his business, business partner. And he's telling his business partner about what happened with Brianna the last time, you know, the drinking and everything. And his business partner is just giving him some advice. So when he pulls up to Brianna's apartment, he FaceTimes Brianna and tells her like, hey, you know, I'm downstairs. Can you come and meet me? And she was like, you know, I have a glass of wine and I'm cooking. Now, mind you, at this time, she wasn't cooking. She said she was doing something. And Boogie was like, so you can't come downstairs. And she says, no, you can, but you can come upstairs. And Boogie was like, I, I don't want to deal with that because she's drinking. And Boogie feels that, you know, she's going to, you know, go off on him like she did the last time. And exactly what she did. Now, here's the thing with me with Brianna. Like I said in last week's review, I got where Brianna was coming from, and I still get where Brianna was coming from when it was compared, you know, she talk, when we're talking about Boogie. I got where she was coming from. It was her approach. I think if Brianna would just lay off the liquor just a little bit, ease up on it, and have a conversation without that, I think she would be fine. Now, like I said, she said she was cooking. What were you cooking? Because all that skillet had in it was some olive oil. And it didn't even look like it was heated at the time. Because she was like, you want me to leave my food? Girl, what food? Not being funny, but what food? Because I didn't see any food in that skillet. Just saying. So production wraps. And she's like, is, is it done? We're done? Okay. And she said something about Uber. So I guess he got an Uber there on somebody's dime. And she, I guess she don't want Boogie to take it. I don't know. I was kind of confused with that one. So, mind you... Brianna kept saying she was not going to go downstairs, right, because of her food, right? Then why did Brianna go downstairs and she went off on Boogie? She's talking about Boogie's acting like a fucking child. I'm like, actually, Brianna, you, <clears throat> you look like a child because it looks like you're sitting here throwing a temper tantrum for what? For what? When Boogie said, you know what, I don't want to do this. You should have been like, okay, well, that's fine. You just wasted my time. I'm hella pissed off about that, but you wasted my time. Now, see, here's the other thing for me with Brianna. She got a call. She had her call sheet. She knew Boogie was coming over. They set this up. So I don't get why Brianna acted the way she did. You knew Boogie was coming over, so you knew what time he was scheduled to come over why did you start why did you wait to start cooking at that time why not wait until after he left or why not start before he got there so the way your food was already ready you could beat him ate your food and go downstairs with boogie like i i didn't understand that but hey i'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut period so then we see tt so tt is talking to sean and the gist of this conversation that i got with tt is Sean is over in Africa and, you know, he's working and she is back in the States with the baby. And I would imagine she's frustrated. And then it's a pandemic. Oh, yeah, I definitely get TT's frustration at this point. Nigga, what are you doing? What are you doing? We don't even talk about, like, we need to talk about the, the wedding. Then she talks about therapy. And I guess Sean doesn't feel that they need therapy, but you do need therapy. There, I mean, there's nothing wrong with therapy. And when Sean, he, I, I was looking at this, I'm like, you know, TT is telling Sean how she feels and Sean is trying to be a jokester and trying to smooth things over. So, you know, that way she can let things go. Which she told him sometimes she'll say she let it go, but she really doesn't. And... That means you guys need to sit down and just have a conversation with someone. Someone who is not privy to your relationship. So I think it will work perfectly for them. Um, Let's pause here and let's wrap. All right, you guys. So Sean and Titi, they go to their um, session with the therapist. And the therapist asked them both, why do they want to get married? And... You know, the reasons that they both gave were good reasons. It's not, you know, vain reasons or anything like that. Both gave very, you know, good reasons. Um, 
then I, he asked him another question. I, I forgot to say, I should have took that question down. He asked him another question about marriage and I forgot what it was. Damn, should have took it down. So he also, they, so actually TT talks about her family's, it, I think it was something, I don't know, I forgot what it was. I think he asked him something like, what do they think it takes to sustain a long marriage? I think that's what it was, I can't remember. Really should have took that down. But TT starts talking about her family issues. And it was at this point where you realize that TT and Sean have differing opinions when it comes to Sandy and Egypt them. So Sean feels that TT should reach out to them and try to reconcile with them. Uh, I don't know about that one. Cause I'm with TT. Like if you do something to me, doesn't mean that I don't love you. I just need to take, I gotta take a break from you. I gotta distance myself from you. So I'm, I'm, I'm more aligned with TT. Yeah, I'm more aligned with TT. I, I don't, yeah, I'm more aligned with TT. I get where, like I said, I get where Sean is coming from, but that goes to the thing of why should I be the bigger person? I didn't do anything to them. They're the ones that's acting stupid, irrational, and ignorant. You know something that I forgot to mention? Samantha. Let's backtrack to her. So when they were in the studio with, because it just came to my mind again, when they were in the studio and they were talking to Savannah, right? This fool has the audacity once again to say, who is TT? Oh, TT is Peppa's um, niece and Egypt's cousin. Who the fuck is Sam? A leech. He's a leech. He's a grifter. He's a con. He's a, mm, I, I don't wanna say that one. No, I'm gonna say he's a piece of shit. <laughs> like, we can go down a list of things that, like, let's just look up oh, grifter. I wanna find, we just gonna look, cause I'm just gonna find this. Okay, a grifter, synonyms for a grifter, a defrauder, a cheater, a con artist, a deceiver, a fraudster, a scammer. Let's just see how much, let's just see how many, how long we can go with this. Cause I got a lot of things for you, Mr. Sam. Cause I got a lot of them. If it'll pull it up, you better be lucky that it ain't pulling them all up. Cause, cause girlfriend, girlfriend, I can go in on you. Mm. Oh, that's a prostitute. Yeah, a fraud, a scammer, a con artist, a con man. Um, a, uh, a shark, a swindler, a trickster. A oh, this is a great one. A victimizer. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. So yeah, that's what you are, Sam. That's what you are. That's what you are, buddy. But yeah, let's. So yeah, I'm done with TT and um and Sean. I just really hope that they work things out. Um. So then let's move over to this final scene of the episode. So we see Kree and JoJo. They're meeting up with Lil E, and they're talking about this venue that he. I guess it's a venue out in Vegas that they neither one of them know what it looks like. So they need to look at it because they're, they're going to hold the showcase there. They need to be able to look at it so that way Cree can come up with how she wants to just set it up and design it. So then um, Savannah and Little Stevie show up and, you know, um, JoJo <clears throat> asked Savannah, you know, did they talk to Egypt? She says, oh, yeah, I talked to Egypt. And Egypt says she's not coming without Sam. He says, I'm, he's in, in um, JoJo says he don't care about that. Sam can sit in the corner. He can sit in the corner, which whatever her dog's name is. I was like, damn, that's fucked up. 
So then she had them rolling when she said that um, they compared themselves to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Like I said, once again, it must be the crackhead Jay-Z and Beyonce because it ain't the Jay-Z and Beyonce that I know. So um, they wrapped that up, you know, Sabana and, um, and actually they're, they're in the dispensary. So Sabana and Cree buy some, you know, some weed. Lil Stevie still trying to figure out where Sabana's getting her money from. I'm over that storyline already. Keep it real with you. So then Sabana and, and Creed go outside. And Sabana lets, you know, Creed know that Egypt told her that TT's man was cheating her on her. Now that, I, you know, with that one, it is a bit of a catch-22 for me. I feel like Sabana should have kept that to herself for one. I think she should have kept that to herself. But if it's getting around, at least tell somebody. See, and that's the other, that's where that's where I, I, I'm conflicted at. Because I don't think Sabana should tell TT because she doesn't know TT. But then also Creed doesn't know TT that well, but she's planning her wedding. So I guess if you I guess if you would be like, hey. I'm not friends with her, but I know you are cool with Vanessa. You might want to tell Vanessa to let her girl know that her cousin is over here running her name through the mud. But even still, I wouldn't do that. I would be like, uh, me personally, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have took it back to anybody. But if I was in the presence of TT, no, nah, I probably wouldn't have. I don't think so. But that's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button. And, you know, stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, socially distance. And if you don't wear your mask, be safe in what you do and be blessed, you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.